But AJ, as a as an athlete, and especially coming from a whole different country, what was the biggest adjustment that you had to make? Oh. And, and 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 you played for a guy that everybody can't play for, right? <laughs> and having having that mindset. We have to understand it's going to be some coaches that's not like myself, that's not like Coach D. Yeah. But what was that biggest adjustment, AJ, that you had to make coming from high school, being a superb high school player, to not coming in college as a freshman? And then how did you uh, get over that? For me, it was, uh, man, I really uh, I really just had to humble myself, man. And mm -hmm. and, and that, that was something that it, it didn't happen overnight. That's something you definitely helped me with. And... It was, it was the hardest thing and it, it, it took me like that whole first year actually you know to really just humble myself like you said coming from canada I, I was a big time player over here and to go to college in the states and then you know be around all those elite athletes and players and even like coaching staff it was just like you know for me that was just totally different so yeah. like to adjust you know what i mean i just have to kind of humble myself and and, and like stop uh stop thinking everyone's against me Mm. You know, like I, like I came in there with a mentality that like, hey, I'm from Canada. It's me against the world. Yeah. And, and, and and that made it real hard on me, too, because like I'm actually pushing close people away and like, and people that were trying to help me and, and guide me. I was kind of pushing them away because I'm like, you know, like you probably, you know, what I mean, it's, it's just me against the world kind of thing. And um, but yeah, once, once I realized I, I put my guard down and actually like trusted these guys and, 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 and believed that it was actually a brotherhood and and then we, we really like we really like played for each other. Like, you know, we played for Coach P. We really mm. played for him. So then after that, and that kind of made everything a lot easier. Mm. Okay, so the humbleness and understanding that when you got to college, right, you're a great player in Canada, but when you got to college, you realize quickly, it's a lot of other elite athletes, right? That like, yeah. like <laughs> other people that have scored 20, 25 points mm -hmm. a game. And so everybody on the team was four and twenty at their high school or right. at their state. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so now, now coming in, but having to adjust to that, but feeling like you know you're outside of you know us against the, me against the world. But what you said is huge, AJ. You said that I had to understand that we were playing for each other, right? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I'm biased, you know, so I know that you and I know those guys, y'all, y'all will go to war for each other to this day, almost 20 years later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll go to war for each other. But talk about playing for each other, right? Because in basketball, the team sport, but a lot yeah. of athletes just want to get them you know what i'm saying they they just want to take care of them but talk about the importance for playing for that person next to you that that's huge like like you said so like even like when i came out like i said i'm coming from canada i'm like i gotta play for that next scholarship i'm not like you know what i mean i'm only gonna be here for two years i gotta play for that and that was my mindset at first and i'm sure that's probably what everyone's mindset was but yeah. then when you realize like like you said a lot of things like a lot of these guys are going through a lot of the same things you're going through and and um we had a guy from australia he lived a million miles away from his family so he was yeah. on a he was in a world in a whole new world by himself yeah so you know then you got to start thinking about stuff like that and me and me and tolo got real close too you know because we were both yeah. international players but yeah you know just be, being able to just you know like even cheering for one another you know seeing seeing your guy go out there and, and play and, and and lock somebody up cheering for him like that's that's huge and that's like big for the team actually like and like i said for me at first i was more like so selfish because i was like man i got to get to that next spot i don't know how long i'm gonna be here kind of thing yeah yeah but then once i said once i realized man these guys are same situation as me like this guy's coming from here he's coming from here his house situation's like this you know and once it got like we started talking outside of basketball and that's when i was like all right these are my brothers man and i'm like if i can sacrifice for him and he'll sacrifice for me then it's like for 40 minutes, we're gonna be giving the teams hell, you know? And then coach, you know what I mean? And, and that's how we started winning. And that's how that's how you become successful when you got everybody on the team that says like, I don't care what time I come in, I can come in for three seconds. I don't even have to play today. I'll just do it in practice. Yeah. We had guys that would just come in practice and 
and go hard. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That made our whole team so much better, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> right. right. 